Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this video, I am going to discuss about curves in Canvas. So there are three types of curves, that is arc, quadratic arc and bezier curve. So I'll be starting with arc. Arc is having attribute, center point, radius, starting angle and ending angle and drawing direction. Either you can draw clockwise or anti-clockwise. Let's have a look at the diagram. In this you can have a look at the center point, radius and starting angle and ending angle. So you can see that it's drawing from clockwise, like it's drawing in the clockwise direction. So let's get started. I'll be continuing with the previous code. So I'll just remove the circle and I'll begin writing with path. So CTX begin path and then I'll be writing arc x y that center point r start angle and end angle then ctx dot arc in bracket i'll be writing 100 100 as a center point then radius 50 and start angle 0 um ending angle will be 2 star math dot pi and ctx dot stroke refresh the page there you can see a circle. Next, if you want to add stroke to the style, so you can write ctx dot stroke style equals to blue and refresh the chrome. So, and let me add it to line width also. So, ctx dot line width equals to 5. So, you can see it even better. Yes. Now, let me just write 0.5. It will be one fourth of the circle. Now let me add one. So it will be a semicircle. So it's a semicircle. Now let me add direction to it. So let me write true. So it will be anti clockwise. So that's how arc is created. The next I'm going to discuss is quadratic curve. Quadratic curve is defined by context point control point and an ending point and it can also be styled with line width stroke style a control point basically defines the curvature of your quadratic curve by creating two imaginary tangential lines which are connected to the context point and the ending point and the context point is defined by the move to method let's have a look at the diagram First is the context point that will be like the starting point and then there will be the control point that's how you can see that it defines basically the curve and last one is the ending point. So I will be writing the code ctx dot begin path ctx dot move to that's the context point so I will be writing 150 and 200 ctx dot quadratic curve to bracket then write um, 100 and 100 so this will be control point and next one will be the ending point so let me write ending point 350 and 200 let me write ctx dot line width equals to 10 ctx dot stroke style equals to purple ctx dot stroke open the chrome refresh that's how it looks so i need to change the control point let me write at 250 and 50 then refresh the page that's how you create quadratic curve next i'm discussing is bezier curve to create a bezier curve we use bezier curve too and also like quadratic it needs context point control point but it needs two control points and ending point and we can also style it with line width stroke style and line cap and it's having arguments one control point and second control point end point so let me have a look at the diagram so that's how two control points and there will be five midpoints so let me write it change 
quadratic to be 0 and at the end at the third point that will be ending point now 350 refresh the chrome so that's how you create a busier curve so let me just quickly summarize what we have done in this so firstly i have done arc that needs center point radius starting angle ending angle and a last drawing direction and in quadratic firstly we will define context point in move to and then quadratic curve needs control point and ending point and same will go with bezier bezier context point will be in move to and bezier curve to needs two control point and one ending point so that's how you can create curve in canvas hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching